If you want to start your way into penetration testing or into cybersecurity, this is the right video for you. Because today I'm going to teach you the step guide on, or the roadmap into becoming a cybersecurity or an ethical hacker. Welcome to Kevdine and let's go into the video. Since we're back, let's start with a simple definition of penetration testing. Actually, penetration testing or pen testing is simulating attacks into a system in order to find vulnerabilities before the bad guys do or the real attackers. And in this case, the pen tester is hired by his or her client or a company or anything, and they need to test the server, the whole system in this company before the bad guys do. And after the vulnerabilities are found, the pen tester will negotiate with the client on how to fix them, okay? It can be the work of the pen tester or it can be the work of the IT team in that company. The scope of your pen test will differ from client to client as some of your clients will have a strong security system while others will have many unpatched vulnerabilities which may make it easy for attackers to gain the internal system. Now, during conducting your pen testing, some of your clients will, uh, will want you to act as an insider or a malicious employee to attack the system. Or some of your clients will want you to attack the system from outside via the internet. And here it's up to you. Now, let's go into the phases of penetration testing and I'll teach you like every single step into penetration testing. Okay. Now the first phase or the first stage into penetration testing is the pre-engagement. Here you'll need time to understand your client's goals like he or she will tell you what he wants and what he doesn't want. Now at this stage you may discuss things like or you may ask questions like is this their first time doing penetration testing into their system. You can ask another question like are there fragile devices that you should be careful of like when doing the pen testing. Now, the fragile device is whereby there are some servers, if they are badly like attacked, they can go down and they can be shut all forever. So you need to be careful and they need to tell you like there is this IP address, there is this device which is very delicate and very fragile, okay? You need to be careful while doing the pen testing. Now, here also you may ask questions like, what are they afraid of? Like, there are some things that you should not do. In that company and they are afraid of that thing okay now when doing the pen test you need to be more careful now here are some other things you may ask or you may talk about during the pre-engagement you like a pen tester and your client number one we have the scope here you'll discuss like what you should do and what you should not do during the pen test like he or she will give you like this is the list of ip addresses i want you to test okay and this never no now here you will see like what are your limits during the pen testing like you can never be allowed to do pen testing over everything unless your client tells you to so in the pre-engagement part you need to talk about the scope of the whole pen test okay the second thing that it is also a part of pre-engagement test like you can ask a testing window a testing window is like what are the hours that you are allowed to do the penetration test like that whole thing now it depends on the company and its schedule or something like that but you can never be allowed to do the pen test for forever it can be maybe two or three hours or four hours per day or maybe every day okay it depends on your clients schedule or something like that after the testing window you have to discuss about the contact information like if you get any vulnerabilities or if you get any issue or if you discover something in the company whom will you contact whenever you find anything okay now here maybe there will be a phone number or an email address that is available 24 7 for you to report anything you find or you can have maybe the IT team of the company to contact during anything you find now, other thing, it is a get out of jail free. This is like a permission to do the pen test, okay? Now, if your client doesn't have this, make sure he or she have this get out of jail free. This will help you don't get in trouble in the future into hacking any system. And if your pen test includes maybe doing the pen test with devices which are not your client's devices or maybe IP addresses which are on are not only your clients maybe they are from other company or other people your client must have this get out of jail free permission from them in order you will be safe during conducting the whole pen test and this is very crucial and very important because you don't want to get into jail 
as I said, this is for ethical hacking only. Now, another thing and the last thing in the pre-engagement stage, you have to discuss about the payment terms, like how will you get paid? Maybe you can get paid by discovering vulnerabilities. Now, after you discover the loopholes in which uh, an attacker, a real attacker might get in, you can get paid for that. Now, the case of maybe securing or fixing those vulnerabilities is another thing. Now, you have to discuss very well the payment methods. Now, we are going into the second stage of penetration testing after the pre-engagement. The second is finding information. Now, here you can find for freely available information in the websites or everywhere you can find these are the free available information and in this you can do it manually by visiting different websites or you can use different tools into getting the information for yourself. Now this process is called the open source intelligence, the OSINT, okay? Now as I told you before, here you can use tools like port scanners to know what IP addresses are there in the system internet. Now the third part is threat modeling. Now, threat modeling is all about using the information gathered in the previous phase which is the gathering information phase and think like real attackers making plans of how you can attack and how you can continue with everything during your pen test the fourth stage in penetration test we have the vulnerability analysis here you may find vulnerabilities or pathways into gaining access into the system of your, that company of your client now in this stage is where you can use maybe tools into scanning the vulnerabilities. Though the tools are powerful, it cannot be more good resulting as using critical thinking. Like whenever you do it manually, it will give you more access and it will give you like a wide area to play with because you know everything step by step. Using the tools, you may just be brought like the vulnerabilities from the vulnerability database, okay? Now making it manually, it is more sufficient and more reliable bad or incomplete exploits can crash systems can send off like intrusion alerts like this system has been hacked or can actually ruin your pen test completely so you have to be more careful when discovering vulnerabilities to exploit during your pen test now we are going to stage five which is the exploitation stage this is the fun stage after you have discovered the information you have discovered the vulnerabilities to use now you are going to exploit that vulnerability in this stage you need to think like an attacker okay now here tools like metasploit can be used but also something to put in mind some vulnerabilities might be easy to attack while some vulnerabilities might be not easy to attack now the other the sixth part of the sixth stage during conducting the penetration test you can have post exploitation after you have actually controlled or gained access into the system by exploiting the system what are you going to do next it is called the post exploitation here you can gather more information about the system maybe by gaining access to interesting files in the system or actually maybe exceeding your privileges into the system and becoming maybe the root or the admin of the system reporting this is the final stage or the final phase during the penetration test in this stage is where your client gets the information in a more meaningful way of what really happened in this stage you can tell your client what they are doing correctly and what they need to improve in order to get a more secure security post or something like that okay now here you may explain like how you got into the system what you found into the system and if possible how they can solve that problem okay and so on and so on now writing a good penetration test report is an art which has to be mastered you really need to sit down and explain every single thing because you have to explain it to the IT staff, which actually you can explain it in more IT way or something like that, more complex way. But if you're going into your client, instead of using like, I use a vulnerability MS or 68 or whatever to get a shell, he or she might wonder like a seashell or something like that. But actually you may just say, I was able to read your email. It is more simplified way of communicating with your client. Now here you need to sit down really carefully and you need to learn how to write a good pen test report. Now with that being said, so in the next video we are going to go deep into penetration test because some of you guys have been commenting into my channel. I need to make videos into how to start pen testing 
from scratch from beginning now i'm going to do that for you in this video i just showed you what you need in to start in penetration test and something like that like the phases during the penetration test now in the next video i'm going to teach you what you need to focus on during a penetration test like what actually you have to do and what you don't have to do what you have to learn and something like that so with that being said so make sure you subscribe that little thing the right over i don't know here subscribe that white thing subscribe like the video share with friends and families comment if you want anything in the future and i'll do your favor and make that video for you with that being said so catch you in the next one peace out